Hello, welcome to everyone in the Better Bones community. I'm Dr. Susan Brown, director of the Center for Better Bones. And today I want to talk a little bit about the big picture on osteoporosis, the research that we've done over the last few decades, and even our individual thoughts, our worries, and our concerns. When we think about bone health and osteoporosis, we tend to think of the smaller and smaller picture. For example, researchers are very busy doing endless research on the tiniest little feedback mechanism, the tiniest little chemical that they may be able to alter, for example, to bring premature death to a bone breakdown cell or to trick the bone building cell into being more active. Research focuses on smaller and smaller mechanisms to see how we can intervene with drug therapy. When in the nutrition field, we think about often the small picture. We think about, we get worried about, do I need to take my calcium separate from my magnesium? Is that gonna be a problem? Or I may take to explaining to you how silicon, a particular form of the mineral silica, can actually stimulate this pro-collagen matrix. Just a little detail of how nature works. But today, this month, this May, this osteoporosis month, I want to talk to you a bit about the big picture, about things I've learned, the big picture perspective, maybe say from 30,000 feet up, what I've learned about bone health over the last few decades, both as an anthropologist and a clinician. And the first thing I've learned, the first truth, is that osteoporosis is much more than bone density. And in fact, that way of defining osteoporosis by T-score is soon to be replaced because it simply doesn't work. You cannot predict who's going to fracture by T-score because the way osteoporosis is really defined is by bone strength, a bone that isn't capable of standing up to everyday wear and tear. Strength is the way to think about bone health and osteoporosis. The big picture is about strength. The second point of the big picture is that strength is a whole body issue. Every single nutrient is important to strength. I love to talk about the 20 key bone nutrients, but really every nutrient is important to bone health. Every thought we have, our emotions, our environment. There's so many studies now on just air pollution and how that affects bone health. And certainly our physical activity one of the real tricks to building strength of bone and the entire body is showing the body that the body needs to be strong. The body is supremely intelligent and it's not going to build and maintain bone, which takes a lot of effort and a lot of resources, if we don't show that we need that bone. And this is where you come into the area of exercise, of loading bone, of actually using bone to tell the body, look, you need to be strong because some hard work so because you're going to be used. The body is very intelligent. So strength is a whole body issue. It's not just about one nutrient or another nutrient. It's about the whole emotional, psychological, nutritional, environmental, and of course, physical activity realm. The other third, third truth I've noticed is that because the body is one single unit, everything we do for bone in the best of all worlds should be good for the entire body. And so this concept of doing something for bone that may cause breast cancer or may cause a digestive problem, that's something we're really rethinking. In the big picture, everything we do for bone, we want to nourish the entire body. The next truth is what we see when we look at the natural world, or even when we look cross-culturally at indigenous societies, and that is that our bones were designed to last a lifetime. Every animal in the forest has perfect bone health lifelong. So the question is why humans don't have that. And of course, it's because our culture, particularly the modern culture, has developed many careless life ways and eating patterns and environmental situations that don't nourish bone, that actually do damage bone. The next point really is that our body is perfectly capable of building and maintaining bone density lifelong. And again, you see this when you look around the world or you look at the natural world. Another important truth I've discovered is that all osteoporosis has a cause. And 
If you have a bone health problem, you should really consider looking at the medical osteoporosis workup. This is a document we wrote which explains every test that should be done to try to detect any hidden medical cause of osteoporosis. The Canadians, for example, have identified two, over 200 secondary causes of osteoporosis. A good way to start is to look at our list of tests and get those tests if you have a serious bone problem. And remember that many of the causes work together. And this is my favorite camel illustration. It's one that I have right in my office because we remember the total load. There's many different burdens that build up on our bone health. And when they get to be excessive, that's when we manifest a problem. Finally, it's good to think about the fact that when we look at the big picture, we see that the body is an amazingly intelligent unit and if we support the body in all of its needs and support the bone in all of its needs, you know, we often forget that bone serves many functions. We say, well, it gives us structure, it allows locomotion, it protects our lungs and our heart and our organs, but it also is a great storehouse for essential minerals like calcium and magnesium, phosphorus, even some potassium. It's also a site that produces not only white blood cells, but also hormones, hormones that go throughout the whole body. Bone also serves as a storage of toxic minerals. It's like where we tuck away the lead and mercury, things we don't want to keep them from being dangerous in the blood. Bone serves many functions. And in order to have lifelong bone strength, we must support bones in all of its needs. And remember, one important function of bone is maintaining pH balance in the body. As a rescue me mechanism, we break down bone when we become too acid. So we must also be attuned to the whole body pH balance issue as we work to build lifelong bone strength. So I hope you have a great May and maybe just once or twice during this month, we can think about the big picture and we can think how building whole body health is going to help build and maintain lifelong bone strength. I wish you well, and we'll be talking soon.